There are four major steps you need to set up before start running ads on Facebook for your Shopify store. Note that Facebook recently did some changes, so everything in this video is updated for 2024. First you have to create Facebook Business Manager account. Then inside of that manager account, we need to create a Facebook ad account. And then we need to create a Facebook pixel. A Facebook pixel is simply a piece of code that measures the effectiveness of your Facebook ads by understanding the actions people take on your website. And the last step will be verifying Shopify store domains. Let's start with the first step and create Facebook or Meta Business Manager. So let's go to business.facebook.com slash overview. You can find the link in video description. Click on create an account. Then here we gonna type our business name, your name, and business email. You can use the same email we created under store domain and then click on submit. Now we are inside of the Facebook Business Manager. The next step is to create our Facebook ad account. So you wanna come over here to accounts and then go to ad accounts. Click up here on add ad accounts and then click on create a new ad account. Enter your business name or store name. Click on next. Agree to Facebook terms and click on create ad account. And now we have to assign someone who will manage this ad account. In our example, it's just going to be ourselves. So we're going to choose our own Facebook profile here. And then we're going to just do full control. So we're going to tick this box and click on assign. Great job. We are done creating Facebook ads account. Let's now create a Facebook pixel and add that pixel on our Shopify store so that Facebook can track everything that our customers do on our store and they're actually able to optimize who our ads will be shown to. This is crucial if you want to ensure that you can effectively optimize your ads. So let's go to data sources right here and click on data sets and then click on add. And then here, you're gonna name your pixel. You can choose whatever name you like. I'll just call it store and click on create. And then click on open in events manager up here. Close this one. And then click on set up meta pixel down here. Click on check for partner. And here, because our store is on Shopify, we are gonna choose Shopify. And now Facebook tells us to connect our Shopify store to Facebook. So we're gonna need to go to Shopify store here and start connecting our Facebook account with Shopify. The first thing to do is to click on online store, then preferences. And then we gonna scroll down to where it says Facebook pixel. Click on set up Facebook. And here, we gonna install this free Shopify app, so click on install. And then we'll direct us to a page where we can add Facebook sales channel. Click on add sales channel here at the top. And now, as we can see here on the left side, we have created a new sales channel for our store which is Facebook and Instagram. Click on get started. And then click on connect account. Then confirm that this is your Facebook account. And here allow Facebook to share business assets with Shopify. Then here we need to connect the business account that we have created before. And then here Shopify is asking us how much data they're allowed to share from our store with Facebook. Now, I would recommend to choose maximum here because that will allow Facebook to optimize your ads in a better way. Then click on save. And then here we want to connect the Facebook pixel that we have just created before, which is going to be the source of all data from our store. So let's click on connect here. Then agree to the terms and conditions and click on submit for review. Great job, the connection is activated and you can run ads on Facebook and Instagram. Go back to Facebook and tick I've completed the setup on Shopify. Click on next and click on next again. And then here, click on test events in the events manager. Click up here on test events tab. And then click on confirm your website's events are set up correctly. Go to your Shopify store, copy the domain URL and paste it here and then click on open website. Now go back to Facebook, you'll notice that website events are recorded successfully and Facebook Pixel can read your website data. Let's create more events on our website, click on this product for example. Let's add it to the cart and then proceed to checkout page. If you go back to Facebook test events, you'll find that all actions taken on website are recorded. Here we have page view, add to cart and initiate checkout, and if you make a purchase, it will be recorded as well. And by this, we are 100% sure that integration works perfectly. Now, let's go back to business settings and finalize a couple of important steps. Click down here on gear icon to go back to business settings. Click on data sources and then click on data sets. Click on add people, select your personal profile and give yourself full control over this data set. 
and then click on Assign. The next step is to link the ad account with this datasets. Click up here on Add Assets. Choose your ad account and then click on Add. And now to make sure our pixel works properly, we also need to verify our domain. So we need to go to Brand Safety here on the bottom left, click on Domains. Then go to Add and click on Create a new domain. Then here, simply put in the domain of your store and then click on Add. And now we need to add this meta tag, which is basically just a piece of code into our HTML code of our store. So all we need to do is just copy this code, then go back to our Shopify store. Go to Themes under Online Store. And then click here, and click on Edit Code. And then we want to go to Theme Liquid here on the left side. This appears to be somewhat complicated, but it's very simple, just follow what I'm doing here. All we need to do is just paste the code in the header section. So here, as you can see the header starts. Click here and then click on enter so we get a new paragraph. Then we just paste in the code just like this. And then click on save, as simple as this. Go back to Facebook and click on verify domain. And by this, our domain is successfully verified. Keep in mind that sometimes it does take a few minutes or even hours until Metacode is live. Now, the next thing we need to do is to verify our Shopify domain. Go back to Shopify, click on exit up here, and you will be directed to Shopify dashboard. What you need to do is to click on settings, and then click down here on domains. Click on this Shopify domain. Copy it. And then go back to Facebook, click on add, and then select create new domain. Paste the domain here, and click on add. Copy the meta tag. And then follow the same steps, click on edit code here, go to theme.liquid. Click on enter after the head here, and paste the meta tag in new line, and then click on save. Go back to Facebook, and click on verify domain. Now, if you're not able to verify your Shopify domain for some reason, what you want to do, is go to the Shopify dashboard. Click on settings, then go to domains. Then click on your currently used domain as the primary one for the store. Click on Change Domain Type, select Redirecting Domain, and then click on Change Domain Type. Now, you're gonna head back to Facebook and click on Verify Domain. And then you should be able to see this screen right here. Once that's verified, you can come back to Shopify and set the other domain as primary again. Now, in the next video, we will create audience list, custom conversions, and start running Facebook ads to our Shopify store. You can find video link here on the screen or in video description, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Talk to you soon.